Hi everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 3, Unit 10A. We're going to start by moving in duple meter, and today I'd like for you to sing the duple meter song and then help me chant macro beats on do. Bum bum bum, sing please. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Echo me, please. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Do today, do today, do day to do. Do day. Do day do. All right, let's do our layering. So we're going to start by moving our feet back and forth. That gives you your macro beats. Tap the micro beats in your hand, no sound. And then do day do. I'd like for you to chant two patterns. Go. One. Two and listen. I'll chant a pattern, you name the function. Ba 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 ba. Macro micro. Do today, do day, do day to do. Division. Ba 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 ba. Division elongation. Do, do day do. Rest. I'm going to sing a song called Chow. Please pretend to fill yourself up with air and let your upper body float. Go ahead and move your shoulders as you do that. Sing a song called Volga Boatman. Excuse me, would you please name the meter after I sing? Move like you're carrying heavy steel beams. Maybe we need two hands here. Duple. That's in duple meter. Let's go ahead and do some rhythm patterns in duple. I'll do some patterns and I'd like for you to echo them back. Do day do, here we go. Do day, do day do. Do day, do day, do day. Do, do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day, do, day. Do, day, do, day, do, day. Do, do, day, do, day. 
do, day do, day do. And all of those patterns were tie patterns using a particular kind of tie a couple of different ways. So we're going to do our song to sing for this unit. It is a very familiar one, I'm sure. So we're going to break it apart a little bit. So -e -do -ti -do. Go ahead and pretend that your arms are marching soldiers. The arms are the soldiers. The arms, the, yeah. You're like a soldier marching. This is Yankee Doodle. Can you sing the syllable for the starting tone of the song? Is this song in duple or triple meter? This is in duple meter. Go ahead and echo this rhythm pattern. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Fast. It's in a fast duple meter. What's the rhythm pattern category for that pattern? That is macro micro. It's in fact all micro beats. Can you audience the song to find another rhythm pattern besides do day, do day, do day, do day? So there's one other rhythm pattern in this song. It's do day, do day, do do. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 do day, do day, do do. Is this song in major or minor tonality? It's in major tonality. Can you echo these tonal patterns, please? Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to sing them on solfege. I'd like for you to sing them back and then label the function of each pattern. Mi, do, mi, do. Tonic major or major tonic. Re, so, re, so. Major dominant. T so. T so. Major dominant. La ti do. La ti do. This one is still in major tonality, but it is either you could call it a multiple pattern because it has things from both chords, from more than one chord, or you could call it a diatonic pattern. It's just in our key. Let's think about where these tonal patterns happen. And I just want to check. Yep. Let's think about where these tonal patterns happen in the song. Listen for mi, do. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. So there's two times in the song for that first one. How about so? So just once. Now how about this one? Can you find T so? Can you find that yourself? Audiate the song. So that pattern happens once toward the end of the song. Bum bum ba 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 bum bum T so. 
so pum pum pa pum. And then how about la ti do? That's also at the very end of the song. Bum bum ba 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 bum bum ba bum la ti do do. That's the very end. Now, I'm going to have you listen for a melodic pattern at the beginning of the song that sounds like this. Bum, bum, ba, bum. That's our first two macro beat melodic pattern. How many times does that happen in the song? So that happens three times. Each of the three times that happens in the song, it has a different ending. So what we're going to do is, I'd like for you to sing the first pattern, and then I will sing the first ending back, and then we'll switch. We've done this with other songs. Bum, ready, sing. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 ba, bum. So listen to that. Bum, 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 bum. Do, mi, re, so. Now I'd like for us to trade. You're going to sing the bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 here I go. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Now we'll do that for the next one. You start with. Bum, bum, ba, bum, our intro, and I'll give you the next ending. Bum, 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 ready, sing. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, just do -ti. Trade. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Now we'll do it for the third time this pattern starts. So you sing again. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ready, sing. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum. Just a scale. Fa, mi, re, do. Let's trade. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum. That's the whole beginning of the song, is those three beginnings with a different ending each time. And then let's go ahead and uh, sing the entire song. So for this time, would you please do large movements? Use lots of space with your arms while we sing this together. Bum, 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 sing with me. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum. I'm going to do an accompaniment just the root harmony. While I play this, I'd like for you to hold up one finger for tonic, four fingers for subdominant, five fingers for dominant. Bum, 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 sing with me. while we do that one more time.
not moving in triple meter. I forgot for a moment that we're doing an A part and a B part. Oh, so instead, come to the keyboard. I had myself set up already. Sit nice and tall. Check your distance. If you're not checking your distance, you're probably sitting too close. Most of us do. We like to get up to the piano and just kind of nestle in here, but then you don't have any elbow room. So make sure you move your bench back so that you've got enough elbow room when you lean forward a little bit, you're getting that center of gravity forward into the keys. All right, looking at our keyboard skills for today, we're going to do review today. We're adding some new keyboard skills next time, but we have lots of review, so I didn't want to add new things today. So if you look at page 31, this is the first page for unit 10. We're just looking at number one and number two under keyboard geography and technique. So number one is the tonic subdominant tonic arpeggios in the following key allergies and tonalities. F major and D minor, C major and A minor, D major and B minor, G major and E minor. So these are all ones that we've done before. This wasn't like what we did in the last unit where we're playing all of the ones in major. This is just the ones that we've done in both major and minor. So we're just gonna go through those right now. And it says sing the tonal syllables. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. One is singing our roots. So if I'm playing F major. Another way I could sing is I could sing the uh, each tonal syllable for each chord. You can, if you really want to do it, you could do every single one. And then we go down to fa. You don't have to sing that many. It's hard to find a spot to breathe. But that gives you two different ways to sing the tonal syllables. Same thing in D minor. When D is la, you can sing the roots. Or you can sing So a couple of different ways. I'm going to play each one of these so you can play it with me or pause after we do each one. Go ahead and play and sing F major and D minor. Let's see if we can do C major and A minor together. Go. I'm going to sing the roots for this one. Ready? Play. Do. play and sing those now. For D major and B minor, I'm going to sing our Do, Mi, So, Fa, La, Do, Do, Mi, So. Ba, 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 play with me. Do, Mi, So, Do, Mi, So. Fa, La, Do, Do, Mi, So, Do. And then in B minor, and sing them now. And then G major and E minor. For this one, 
this one, I'm going to sing the roots partly because of octave issues. Do, ready, play. Do. play and sing those now. And then number two, play major triads on all the piano keys. So what we're going to do is you get another pop quiz. So here we go. Can you play a major triad on A flat? And you can do this either this way or you can play or you can go any way that you want to play the major triad is fine. So there's A flat. We're going to do D. G. different examples of ways that you can play these. And one more. Let's do C sharp. You may have done that as D flat. Remember that's one of our enharmonic chords. So C sharp and D flat are going to be the same. All right, so practice all of those, all the major triads and all the piano keys. You're just trying to become so comfortable with them that they're very easy to do. That's all for our keyboard geography and technique because we've got lots when we get to the review section. So we're going to look at exploration, creativity, and improvisation. There's just one little thing in the book. Plan the meter and a rhythm pattern. This is number one over here. Then improvise a sound idea that moves a little fast. As I was prepping for this, I was thinking about uh, I was thinking about my cat and when she likes to chase something that's moving across the floor. She kind of runs and then stops and then runs and then stops. So I was thinking about that for my sound idea. So a rhythm sounds kind of like that. Do today, do today, do today, do. Something like that. <laughs> so you can see how even something like that, you could still get the idea. You get sometimes, if you're kind of running along in some notes, you can get that idea. You can get that pounce by doing a little cluster of notes. It's amazing how expressive you can be when you're not in a key. You don't have to be in a tonality to have an expressive idea. So try that this week. Try some different expressive ideas and starting with trying one now. Then we're going to do one that's not in the book. This is just a rhythm pattern. So I'm going to give you the rhythm pattern. You're going to echo it with your voice and play it on one key. That's it. Do da di do, echo me please. Do ta da di do da, do ta da ta di ta do da di. Do ta da di do da, do ta da ta di ta do da di. Do ta da di do da, do ta da ta di ta do da di. That's it. If you had trouble with that rhythm pattern, go ahead and rewind a little bit and do that another time or two so you can become comfortable with that rhythm pattern. Now we're on to review. So we're looking backward into unit nine. For love somebody, what we're adding this time is two new chialities. And when you do this, remember that you're transposing not just the melody, but also the accompaniment. Go ahead. 
ahead and play it in G major. Let's play our tonic subdominant dominant tonic arpeggios in G major. transposing the accompaniment. So make sure we start on Do, Mi, then it moves Fa, Do, Mi, Mi to Fa, Mi, Fa to Mi, So, Fa, Mi. At the ending, go ahead and play just that in G major while I play both parts. Do day do play with me. So go ahead and play both hands together in G major. And then choose another new keality of your choice or new tonic and go ahead and transpose to that. Make sure you mark both of those with today's date and then turn back. We're looking at unit eight. So in unit eight, we had our tonic subdominant tonic when do is F and la is D. Hey, you just practiced those. So what you're doing right here today for both of the melodic cadences is you're playing one, four, five, one. Tonic, subdominant, dominant, tonic. This is the cadences, not the arpeggios. So this would be for the melodic cadence. For the arpeggio, you're going to sing the syllables. Hey, this is what we just did. And you have the two ways to practice it that we just did. So try both of those. So, do, Mark that down. Go ahead and practice both of those in F major. And then we're looking at D minor. Whoops. So go ahead and play your one, four, five, one in the melodic cadence, and then sing the syllables while you play the arpeggio, or just mark it down because you did it just now while you were playing with me. That's it for those pages. If you turn backwards, we're also going to continue practicing the major cadences on page 26. So what I'd like you to do, rather than playing everything on this page, is practice whatever is most challenging for you. If, that, if you had the most trouble doing just tonic and subdominant, go ahead and do that, or practice just tonic, subdominant, and dominant. And if you're doing that, just figure out the keys that are most difficult for you. So maybe a recommendation could be the tonic, subdominant, dominant cadences, arpeggios, that start on black keys, so have black keys and do. So we could do D flat. tool used by romantic era composers everywhere.
I would do is the tonic, subdominant, and dominant arpeggios, starting with black keys, so that do is the black key. So I would do that if you don't know what to practice. That's all for review. Go ahead and play some of those now. I didn't give you any opportunity, I just played. And then we have a song to play for this unit. I'm going to sing it for you before we start. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Go ahead and think about, think about the uh, meter of this song. So this is in triple meter. Think now about the tonality. If you noticed at the beginning I gave it away, this is in major tonality. Can you audiate the resting tone? Ba, do. Echo these rhythm patterns, please. Do, da, di, do, echo me, please. Do, di, do, di, do, da, di, do. Do di do di do da di do. Do da di do di do da di do di. Do da di do di do da di do di. Let's do three tonal patterns in the song. So me. So me. Me re do. Me re do. Patterns begins the song. I'm going to play the first two phrases of this song. I want you to raise your hand or think about whether you hear the beginning melodic pattern, the very beginning, repeat. and you could have thought of it repeating in a couple of ways. So first of all, you hear you hear so me twice in a row, and then you hear that combo of two so me's again at the beginning of the second phrase. So me so me so me so me. Are those t are these two phrases exactly the same? Or are they different? I'll play them again. They are a little different. Can you tell what is different? It's the very last note, the last tone. sing each of those endings. Ready, sing. Now we'll trade. last phrase in the song, is this exactly the same as one of those first two phrases or is it a little different? So this is a little bit different. The ending is a little bit different. So I'm going to sing 
Uh, you sing the first part, I'll sing the second part, and then we'll switch on that phrase. You sing, ba, 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 ba. ready, sing. Ba, 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 ba. Trade. heard all three versions of the A part of the song. We have A, and then we have another A, and then we have another A, each of which are a little different. There's also a B part in the middle, sandwiched in between these A sections. I'd like for you to listen to the B part and think about what is the same within the B part. Ba, 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 ba. So there's one rhythm pattern that happens twice. Do da dee do dee, do da dee do dee. And then the melodic pattern is the same, but the first melodic pattern starts on The second one starts on me, 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 ba, ba, ba. So it's the same idea, it just starts higher. It's our pattern and sequence, which we've been hearing a lot in these songs. Go ahead and open up your book to page 32. This is where Cuckoo is. And read the music information box. This is in triple meter, major tonality, do is E, and the melody starts on so. Let's play our E major tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. <laughs> some tonal patterns. So, me. Me, re, do. Fa, re. Now, you're going to need just one hand and five fingers to play the melody for this piece. Prepare a hand and fingers on the piano keys, think the starting piano key, and think a rhythm introduction before you start to play. Think something like do da di do, ready, play, so that you're already in that meter before you start to play. We're going to do that, and we're going to play just the beginning of the first phrase. Notice that first tonal pattern. So and the rhythm is do -de do -de. Excuse me. So let's think this. Do da -de do ready play. Now when we play the whole first phrase, went way down to me. When you go up to that pinky. Make sure you use an arm movement to get over to your pinky so you're not pushing this way. Do da -de do play with me. Now let's play the second phrase. Remember, it's just the last note that's different. It ends on do. Ready, play. Let's play the first two phrases and we're going to chant the rhythm while we play. Do da di do, play and chant. Do di do di do da di do. Do di do di do da di do. Let's do the B part. take a little bit more practice. It starts on and then make sure your arm is helping you move across those. Let's play the B part. Do da dee do play with me. Go ahead and pause and practice that as much as you need to. And then let's play the whole piece. Remember the ending is Ba mi re do ba 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 play with me do di do di do da di do do di do di do da di do do da di do di do da di do di do di do di do da di do. 
accompaniment with you while you play again. Do da di do, ready, play. accompaniment a little bit. So for the tonic chord, it plays Do, Mi, Sol. For the dominant chord, Ti, Fa, Sol. So then it goes Do, Da, Di, Do, Da, Di, Do, Da, Di, Do, Da, Di. practice this pattern. As you play this, make sure that your arm is balanced behind each finger that you play. And if you need to play this slowly, no problem whatsoever. We'll come back later and we'll speed it up and we'll put the parts together. So go ahead and play or if this is the, I'll, I'll slow it down. I'm going to play both parts. Do, da, di, do, play the accompaniment with me. together, play it slowly, don't take your time, and eventually you can speed it up. Go ahead and practice that. Make sure you mark today's date by the melody. Try the melody in your other hand as well. And mark that down. Make sure you do the accompaniment. If you can do hands together, that's wonderful. If not, we're going to pick that up as an assignment in Unit 10B. Speaking of which, here are your assignments. So number one, pattern CD, track 26. Yay, another new pattern CD track. And audio tracks 19 through 21, because you have two songs to play in this unit. So 19, 20, and 21. Number two, keyboard skills, page 31. Left side of the page, numbers one and two. That's assignment two. Assignment three, improv, page 31, left side, number one. Number four, review, book three, units eight and nine. Five, cuckoo, that we just did. And then six, we're looking at our rocking project on page 64. So you may be at a very different place in this project depending on how long it took you to finish the Jingle Bells project in the last unit. So if you had finished the Jingle Bells project by the time you got to unit 9B and you were already starting the rocking project, then in that case your assignment is to do whichever project between three and four that you didn't do last time. Remember I said start with the one that's easier, so go ahead and pick up the other one now. If you found tonal patterns last time, found find rhythm patterns this time, or vice versa. If you, you continued working on the Jingle Bells project in Unit 10B, then your assignment is to do projects one and two in the rocking project, and either three or four, whichever one is easier for you. I promise once we get through unit 10B, we won't have this dual assignment thing. I'll go ahead and 
sync us back up at the unit 10 B. So you could have either one of those assignments depending on where you were coming out of unit 9B. And if you have any confusion about that, that's fine. Let me know. We'll look at that together. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 3, Unit 10A. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.